Well, hello there, folks, and welcome back to the Whiskey Friend with me, Alan. I'm so excited. I'm back on another Kill Karen. It's Kill Karen 8 Port Cask 2022. Let me just get this in the glass, guys. Wait, wait, wait. Just to try and handle my excitement, I've I pour that in, get it in there. Wow, look at that little pink view there straight away. You can tell there's some port kicking around there. Let's get it covered up. Whiskey friend coin number 64 on this one. Yes, the coins are still available. Yes, the glasses are still available. I'll pop links into the description if you want to support the channel and pick up some coins. Dive in there. So yes, a little bit on this Kilkerran port, guys. This is a sample that's been very generously gifted to me by Mr. Justin Adams. One of the Manchester Whiskey Boys here in Manchester. Thank you very much for your generosity, Justin. I was in two minds whether to review this sample, guys. I was in two minds because the reason why is this this is the latest batch of Kilkerrans, latest batch of Springbanks that's came out and they've been more and more difficult to get a hold of. The FOMO's kicked in with everybody. The flippers are in control. The flippers have got the market boxed off. They've snapped up every bottle. Anybody that wants to buy this bottle and drink it has really had to be on their toes to manage to get a hold of it. I've just simply not been involved this time. I haven't dived in. I had a quick look. Couldn't see it anywhere. Anywhere I did find it, sold out instantly. So I've not chased it and I don't intend to chase any more. It's Kill Karen. I see, the reason I'm reviewing it is I've reviewed almost everything else that Kilkerran's done. So I thought, I've got it. I've got a bit of spare time. I thought, why not? Let's dive in. Let's taste it. And let's share it. So I'm going to share this one with you guys. Other than that, yes, it is a sample. I'm, a, I'm aware it's a sample. I'm not going to score it. I might not score it, but let, let's see how I got on. If I think it's worthy of a score, then I'm... Well, it's probably going to be worthy of a score, but let's decide whether I'm going to score it or not. So, let's get this coin off it, and let's let's dive into the nose of this one. Okay. So, it's Campbelltown. It's a little bit... It's got a little bit of earthiness. Hint of funk. A little bit of funk in there, but it's... And it's hinting. There's a little hint of a dirty note. It's, gonna, it's a little bit dirty to start with. And I'm definitely picking up, yeah, definitely some done. There's a, definitely a Dunnage note kicking in there. That kind of dry and damp and wet floor, damp floor, dry floor, dirty floor. And believe it or not, folks, it's it's a little bit aromatic. I remember doing the Kill Care and Eat Sherry Cask last year. And and it was it wasn't one for me. It was covered in sulphur. I think there's a small, tiny hint of sulphur in the back of this. Don't get me wrong, guys. Nothing off-putting. Nothing that's that's going to detract you from enjoying this whiskey. There's just a little hint in there. There's some beautiful red fruit coming through. Through obviously that's from the port casks. That red fruit, berry fruit. Maybe some dark grape. A little bit of cherry. A little bit of cherry in there. And there might even be a little hint of red apple. So, But it, it's quite sweet on the nose. Fruity sweetness. In fact, I think the sweetness is probably not sweet. It's, it's, it's gone a little bit floral now. So it's, it's probably more floral than sweet. There's a lovely floral... Maybe kind of rose petal, red roses, that, that kind of note coming from it, rather than the sweetness. So I think it's still earthy, I think it's a little bit dirty, it's that little bit of damp, dry, typical Kilkerran to be honest, typical Springbank notes. But let's uh, Let's dive in and see what it's like. If you're a regular to the channel, folks, you'll know exactly where this is going to go. This is just heading straight down the hatch. So, responsibly, of course. So, cheers, folks. Wish me luck.
Okay. My, I'm um, sorry I never got a bottle of this. Okay. Wow. It's... Let me just start before I do the palette, folks. The nose is okay. The nose is nice. It's not the most interesting nose in the world. There's that little bit of... If you like that dirty whiskey and smell of that, then great. A little bit of floral in there, a little bit of fruit in there, but it's not... It's not a whiskey that I think you would sit down and nose it for 20 minutes before you'd start sipping it. It's just a nice nose. It's an okay nose. Where this whiskey transforms is beautifully is on the palate. I remember at the Glasgow Whiskey Festival, I tried both the new eights. I tried the Sherry eight and I tried the Port eight. And I do believe my favourite on the day was the Port. This is just concurred with that this just verifies it for me this is wonderful and when it when it's when it goes in let me just have another quick sip and then i'll i'll dive into this palette okay it's it's rich it's thick it's oily it's creamy, it's buttery, it's all that thick, thick texture going on in the whiskey. Almost bordering on syrupy. Maybe some stewed fruits going on in there, but the red berries are there. It's so dry on arrival, it's dry, dry. It just sucks all the saliva out of your mouth. And then all of a sudden, after a few seconds, it be the fruits kick in becomes juicy i think there's a little bit of plum in there there's a little bit of red berry a little bit of red currant let's do another sip of this just to just for research of course yeah plum red currant strawberry Wow, stewed, juicy, it's becoming sticky, it's thick, it's earthy at the same time. So the balance between that earthiness and the dirtiness and the the stewed fruits and the juicy fruit and all of that stuff, all that berry fruit is just beautifully balanced and beautifully integrated. I think I'm picking up a little bit of, as it develops, there's a wee bit of tropical coming in there now, a little bit of tropical note. It's complex, it's it's totally different from the nose, folks. The nose is okay, the palate's where it's all going on. That earthiness, that dirtiness, that... It's just so much to get into. Wow, should have got a bottle of this. So, let's do a little bit for the finish, folks, then I'll get gone. As, it, as you take more sips of it, it becomes spicier at the same time. That little hint of sulfur that I mentioned on the nose is definitely nowhere on the palate. It's very aromatic. It's so dry. At the same time, the fruits balance that out. It just adds to it. It becomes fruity. It's getting spicier. Wow. Did I do a bit for the finish? Let me do another bit for the finish, folks. So good, this. That did look like a big pour at the beginning, didn't it? Don't worry, guys. It's it was just it's just a small glass, as usual. The finish. That dryness continues. It comes and goes. Pops in, pops out. Back into the finish again. It goes a little bit dry again, a little bit smoky. The smoke is there on the end, that little bit of distant bonfire, the matchstick's gone, it's, it's, it's more distant, it's more your neighbours five doors down are having a barbecue and there's that little bit of smoke whiffing across, it's that kind of thing. A little bit of plum, a little bit of red fruit, a little bit of red currant and a little bit of strawberry, that red fruit is on the finish. A little bit of tobacco there as well on the finish. That light smoke there and a bit of spice. It's medium long on the finish. 
really, really nice. Such a good whiskey. Just a shame it's so hard to get a hold of. I think my Kilcarran collection may be on hold at the minute. I will try and look out. Just to give you an idea, guys, I had a wee look through the auctions recently. And the auctions are just overflowing with these bottles. There's hundreds of bottles, guys, on the auction sites. Both the sherry casks and the port casks. The flippers have really went to town on this one. If, if you've tried and been lucky enough to get a bottle of this, folks, dive in, let us know what it's like. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm conscious this is a sample, but it's a fantastic sample and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I've got no doubt the bottle would just get even better as it went down the bottle. I'm not going to do it with water. I've just, well, I've not got enough left, I think, to do it with water anyway, but I, I didn't want to spoil it. I'm loving it without the water. Again, if you've tried it, guys, if you've managed to open one of these up, I see lots of photographs on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. None of them are open. They're all closed bottles. So I'd love to see some of these pictures come onto Facebook and Instagram opened up, being shared, being shared around the community. If you've got one and you've tried it, guys, dive in, let us know what your thoughts are on it. Do you concur? Are you enjoying it? Is it as good as the others? Is it is it as good as the initial All the Rosal 8? I'm not too sure it's that good quite yet. Maybe if I had a bottle of it, maybe I might be able to compare both of them as, as they go down. I'm loving it. Am I going to score it? Yes, I will score this one, guys. I don't normally score samples, but this, this is such a good whiskey. If I was just poured this, I'm just imagining I poured this from the bottle. I'm going to try and pop a bottle here. So if I could pour this from a bottle now... And I'm drinking it now and I'm taking myself back in time. I would score this a 93 out of 100. That, that's where I'm scoring that one at the minute. It's such a good whiskey. Pretty sure if I had a bottle of it, then it would probably might even get a 94 or 95. So if you've liked the video, you know what to do. Click that button. Give me the thumbs up. Dive into the comments. I'd love to know your thoughts, folks. Big thanks to my Patreons. Been through me thick and thin. I'll pop all the links into the bottom. Coins, glasses, Patreon. All the links will be in the description, guys. If you want to help support the channel, dive in there and have a look. But as always, as I always say, the pleasure is in the sharing. Don't forget to send good whiskey straight down the hatch. Responsibly, of course. Until the next time, folks. I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.